As part of the Prefix project, we've been looking at uh, the effect of uh, repressive governance on radicalization and whether it leads to a decline in radicalization. And we've been looking at a different number of countries, including Egypt. And what we see is that uh, it might seem to work on the short term, but what it, we argue is that in the long term, this is not a sustainable option. Because what it does is that in the end, it creates immense resentment, immense frustration in the society. You have 60,000 people in jail in Egypt, and these places are places of intense radicalization, intense resentment. So what you have today is that the cost of acting for militants are simply too high. So people are not acting. But again, if the state should uh, fail at some point, if there's a decline in the state's repressive grip in the future, and that might happen, then you have a whole new generation of people who actually have been radicalized and who might constitute a much bigger threat than what we've ever seen. Remember that Al-Qaeda was already a product of Egyptian repression in the 50s and 60s under Nasser. Well, the extent of repression today is much higher than it was in the 50s and 60s. So just imagine what this could produce in the future.